I'm going to use math illustrations uh, to draw a picture of an arbolos. An arbolos is a geometric figure composed of three semicircles. Um, it's called arbolos after the Greek name for a cobbler's knife, which it apparently resembles. Uh, here's how I'm going to draw it. First of all, I'm going to draw one circle. Now I'd like to have a diameter of that circle, so to draw a diameter I, I draw a chord, A, B, C here, and then I constrain point A to lie on the chord using my incidence constraint. So here I have a diameter. I now need one circle to have a centre on the diameter and go through C. Actually let's just pull that one over a little bit. There we go. And I need a second circle which goes through B but also which is tangent to um, the initial circle there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a second point there and make it incident to both circles. So use my incidence constraint there and my incidence constraint there. So now I have um, two circles going through C, two circles going through F, two circles going through B. To create the arbolos I'm going to use the arc tool. First of all I want an arc from C along the that circle to F, which I'll do. Now I want another arc from F. Notice that arc is going the wrong way, I don't want to do that. I just move around until I get it to go the right, the right side uh, to B. And now I want another arc that starts at C. Doesn't go on that circle, I want it on that circle. So draw it, pull it over and go to B. I now have my three arcs, so if I hide the actual full circles, I can three my, see my three arcs. If I now take those three arcs and construct a polygon, then I get a picture of my arbolos. I just clean, can clean up by hiding um, some of these points. Uh, actually if I drag that point it's going to change the the arbolos. Let's just hide them so we've got the picture nice and clean. And copy my region I can paste into Word. And there we go.